happy for the most part um, with our uh, defensive effort. Fortunately, we uh, have some shot blockers because when we when we did get beat, uh, we blocked a lot of shots when they came out the ground. So that was I'm sure it was pretty discouraging for their guys. Got them gun shy. Um, and uh, Sheck got us started with that. David kept it up. Kelvin got a few. So whenever you get 12 block shots from your one position, you got to be happy with that. But we can't uh, put our five man in that position as much as we did. Um, so there's areas we got to improve. But uh, I was happy with our assist to turnovers. Obviously, 24 assist was big for us. So uh, as you guys know, SK uh, had a big night. But five assists, zero turnovers. Shot selection was excellent. Um, and also, I think he had seven rebounds, maybe. So uh, none of that surprises me, though, because his preparation every day for every game is as good as I've ever been around as a coach. It's off the charts. How do you balance how much you play him in these games? Uh, well, you know, once you, I think, you know, once you get in a game, if you think, you know, it's up at a certain point, you know, I, I, I certainly, 26 would have been the max minutes for anybody today, not just him. Again, uh, like today, I really want to try to get Shaq Thomas at least 20 minutes. I knew that going into the game. <clears throat> just trying to get some guys ready. Why, why Shaq 20 minutes? Well, he, if you looked at him, he hadn't played quite as much as some other guys. And, uh, you know, Jermaine and, and G and Jeremiah, they played last year. You know, so you only get so many opp these opportunities, and it's his first year. He needs them. Well, they, they've been in, those guys have played. How's he coming along, Jack? Good. You know, it's, just, it's, it's a learning process for me with him, Titus, and Dave as far as coaching them, getting to. Um, learn their, you know, learn how to uh, make it easy on them. You know, my job as a coach is to teach them in practice, motivate them to uh, be dedicated, and then during the game, I got to figure out how to get them comfortable out there so they're playing well. You know, I, players don't play well for you as a head coach if they're not comfortable. Um, so you got to find the help, try to help find the guy to get his comfort zone. So that's. Uh, Kind of what I was trying to work on with him today. How far away is he from being comfortable? Well, he's going to need minutes against a real team. You know, and nothing against North Carolina A&T. What I mean by that is, you know, a, a, a high major team that has enough size to deal with this. You know, because this team, I thought they did a lot of things really well, but the problem was they didn't get the reward. They didn't get the ball in the basket. When they did do some things really well and exploit us, they couldn't make a three-point shot. Uh, when they got to the rim, they dealt with, you know, you got 12 block shots. You said that about the whole team, though, that you need to get against a, a major team? Well, that day, well, we got plenty of those, so. But are you eager to see how they, how they do? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in how they do, I'm interested in winning, <laughs> yeah, you know. All I'm worried about is winning Tuesday, getting better Monday and Tuesday, getting to Vegas and getting ready to play. So, uh, you know, I'm sure some people are probably wondering, you know, how good are we? Uh, I can tell you this, we're not good enough yet. But nobody is. You know, that's my job, obviously. Using uh, these games to try to improve and get guys minutes, I got to make sure our guys continue to understand what's out there for us. And our veteran guys, they know that. But I've been to, obviously, if you see me during the game, that's what I'm reminding guys of. Constantly. You might have a free throw shooting one. Yeah. Uh, beyond, beyond, uh, beyond that. SK said Unacceptable. They have to come in at 7 a.m. and want to shoot. Yes. How long will that last? Depends how many they make. <laughs> it's, all, it's all about commitment. You know, sometimes you got to send different messages as a coach. And uh, I saw lack of concentration. I also see guys when we're working on free throws in practice here the last week. Coach Davis for us is does a lot of our shooting drills. He's one of the best in the country at it. Um, 
and he 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 predicted this, and I had met with the team about it. It's not a lack of talent. Not a lack. Of, we don't have guys that can't put the put the ball in the basket. Have you ever done that before? We've done, I've been in college coaching 17 years. I've seen everything known to man. <laughs> free throw shooting. Have you ever done it here? Over on one at seven. Oh yeah. Because they said you had Maybe for these guys. Okay. Coach, how's Calvin Gates looked to you so far? Uh, you know, at times he does things that you know is, is shot blocking that uh, you say, "Wow." Um, he's still learning how to use his strength, and he's the guy that's got to be able to make the free throw because he he's he can uh, you know like like a Dwight Howard kind of guy. I mean, he, he's he can catch it deep when he wants to, um, and he's going to get fouled a lot if, the more he plays. He's he's got to get to the point where he's making a free throw, but uh, when he uh, when, when Kelvin plays with intensity and focus, he can help us. The challenge for him and too many players this day and age is to be like Sean Kilpatrick, who's in the minority, a guy that's always focused, always intense, and trying to get better every day. Uh, when Kelvin Gaines does all that and he's hit, he uses his body and his strength and his physicality, it's something we need. On this team, it'd be nice to have because um, I thought uh, again they were outmanned, but I thought they physically they were the more physical team on the blockouts today, mm -hmm. which you know to me was unacceptable. As much as Sheck is rebound or blocking shots, his rebounding is nowhere near where we needed to be. Is part of that overcommitting to block shots for Sheck or? No. no. It's got nothing to do with it. He blocks it. He don't overcommit, he blocks it. His problem is, it, it, you know, you got to get, get in the fight, you got to get leverage, you got to get position, you got to get down and dirty and go get the ball. Which, you know, see, the difference is Justin Jackson views himself as a rebounder. You got to, you know, it's all, you gotta, it's all about toughness and pursuit. So, fortunately for us, we got some wings that rebound. But uh, Sheck's going to have to improve as the year goes on, especially his, his defensive rebound. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach.